In this session, we're going to be looking at subscreens. These are pop-up panels of information that allow the learner to interact with things on the screen to give them more information. For example, to give feedback if the learner answers a question. Or in this case, we're going to make an image interactive so the learner can click on different parts of the image to get more information about what they've clicked on. So here we are in the project view. So I'm going to open up the project that we're working on earlier. Welcome to our company. This shows me the project structure. And let's go into the introduction topic. So I just click once on there. And now it loads up that topic into the editor. So here in the navigator panel on the left, we have our different screens. We have the welcome screen, history screen, and the one I want to work on here, the location screen. So currently this is, this is empty. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add in the subscreens. These are the, the pop-up screens, uh, which we're then going to link into an image in our main screen. So to add a subscreen, I just go down to the plus button to the right of the add new screen button, click that and choose add subscreen. Let's add in a couple more. So add subscreen and another one there. And just as we did with the main screens, we can rename these. So over in the screen properties, I'm going to give these a label. So we'll have one for New York. The next one we'll call Brighton. And finally, we'll have one for Rio as well. So we now have our three subscreens. At the moment, those don't have any content in them. So just as we do with the main screens, I can click on the Asset tab. And these are all the things that we can add into subscreen. So I'm just going to add in something simple like a piece of text. But you could also be having images or even video in there as well. So just double click and just put in some text. And click Apply. Go back to the navigator. Let's just add in some content, say for the Brighton one. Back to assets, drag and drop text in there. Double click, type in some text, click apply, and so on. So we can just carry on adding in content into these subscreens. Let's just go back to the main screen here, our location. So now what I want to do is to add in an image. So let's click on Assets, and this time I'm going to choose a hotspot image. This gives me a chance to create an interactive image. So click and drag there, and now I can just go and browse over on the Properties panel. Gives me the view of all the assets, that are all the resources here, and here I'm going to select the map graphic. Now let's go and set some hotspots. These are the active areas the learner can click on on the screen. So click on Set Hotspots, brings up the Hotspots panel here, and it's already added in one for me here, this little red square towards the top left, which I can click and drag to move around, and then just pick up the bottom right-hand corner, click and drag to enlarge it so it covers the area that I want to be, make interactive. And now I can tell GOMO what I want to do when the learner does click on that by setting action. So here at the bottom left we have the set actions button. Click that, click add action, and now we have the action type. Click to reveal that. So we can do things like um, linking off to an external website and so forth or another screen, but here I want to show a subscreen. So select show subscreen, and now in the result of the action column here, click and it's showing me all the subscreens that we've created there. So I'm going to select New York and click update. Now let's add in another hotspot. So click add. Gives me another hotspot there in red. Just click the bottom corner to make it the right size. And once again, we can set actions click Set Actions, click Add Action. 
here show subscreen and this time we want to show the Brighton subscreen if the learner clicks on that so click update actions and now I'm just going to close the hotspot panel and let's go and save that and see how that looks so topic saved now I can go in and preview this by at the top left here we have the preview button so click that once and that will then launch the preview panel in a separate tab and here we go it's loaded up this particular screen and now if I click you can see the cursor is changing as I roll into that hotspot so I'll click on the New York hotspot and up pops a panel here. Now this colouring and this uh, sort of translucent red that's actually defined in the theme so if we want to change the look of the subscreens we can go in and customise the theme. If I just close this click on Brighton this time so it shows me the content from the Brighton subscreen. And so that's the way that uh, that subscreens work in terms of hotspots and graphics. Let's just go back to to our editor and here we are in the editor and if I click back in the navigator to look at the subscreens. Now you'll have noticed that that subscreen appeared as it revealed itself from the bottom and that is set over here in the properties. So we have here as the type we have reveal and it defaults to revealing from the bottom but I could choose to have it revealing from the right, left, top and so on. Or I could change the actual type of subscreen so rather than the reveal, I could have it popping up in the middle of the screen or popping over. So again, you can just change the type there and then select the animation effect that you want there. So that's the introduction to subscreens and you'll find that you'll be using subscreens in many places in your courses.